Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Tonight, the agenda is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We are just going to enjoy the rest of the in-game content. We are going to do some more maps. We're going to see if we can't figure out how to do the two things that I actually enjoy. And try and figure it out a little bit more. I do appreciate the help that I have been receiving over the last couple of days with getting me to where I am right now. A lot has been learned and I realized just how much of this game I had no idea about or sorely uneducated on. But that's how we learn. And with the help from you guys, it makes the learning process a lot easier without having to try and figure it out myself or look up for a very vague YouTube tutorial or Google guide on what exactly the hell is going on. But for those that of you that are here, please go and have a look at my YouTube channel and my Twitter account. Go follow me there. Follow the stream as well. Help support and help grow this community. It really would mean a lot to me. I really would appreciate it. I am trying to grow. I am trying to get better. I am open to recommendations. And I am, obviously, open to learning whatever I can to make sure that this community grows and that the streams get better for your viewing pleasure. So when I finished off last night, finished off that part of it, I am trying to get into Legion and I'm trying to get into Delirium. The thing that I am not sure about is how can I guarantee almost that I will always have a Delirium or always have a Legion as part of any map that I run. Is that something that I can guarantee in some way or another? Or is that something that is random? That's the part that I don't know. But we're going to figure it all out. Tonight, tonight's going to be a bit of a longer stream. Obviously, it's a Friday evening. Well, it's Friday evening for me. It might be Friday morning where you are from, but it's going to be a bit of a lengthy stream. We're going to look at about three to four hours, see how it goes. But I suppose that also depends on how the night goes, how many viewers there are, what kind of interaction there is. But we'll take it moment by moment and see how it goes. So to start off the night, I think we'll just start off with a nice, simple little map run. Maybe take a tier three map. I've already completed all of these, so we'll just take one of these and run with this. I do have a Kirak mission available, so I might just run one of these for now and then come back to a Kirak mission. Oh, and with the major help that I have been receiving the last couple of nights, my gear has increased massively. It has been pointed out to me that my chest piece, though, does need some work. Um, my gloves are pretty decent. My boots are not bad, especially with the fact that I have got 30% movement speed on the boots, so that's not horrible. The helmet is also looking pretty decent, and then the damage output on the wand ain't terrible, ain't great. Always room for improvement. But I'm happy with where the gear is at the moment, but we are going to keep an eye out for a chest piece and obviously try and increase our currency. Because right now we are very short on orbs are fusing we've only got 88 we do nicely have 51 jewel or jeweler's orbs which we can sell off and try and get a couple more of the orbs are fusing so let's see what kind of currency we can make tonight so let's start the first map run sorry i just realized now that the game sound was off so you should be able to hear now what's going on And then obviously we are still keeping an eye out for a large jewel cluster, minion damage, preferably. But what the chances are of coming across one of those, I don't think are going to be very high. But we can hope. I made this mistake last night just to make sure. I've actually got melee splash support on. Matthews. And obviously we are keeping an eye out for any six links that we come across. What the hell is happening there in the center? Whatever. 
whoever that was did not want to die. I still am not picking up tier 5 maps or better. Two tier 2s and two. Sorry, two tier 4s and one tier 2. Alteration. Okay, dropped. That's a peer map that's tier 1. But always keep an eye for if there isn't maybe a potential upgrade. Okay, uh, let's cartridge. My interest sake, what are these like? Nope, that should be. That. Let's go into the arena. Let's not make the same mistake. Let's actually switch out to the multi strike. And there's the boss. Here we go. Run through. Run it through. Very nice. Turquoise amulet, crimson jewel, and iron ball. It's unique. I don't actually think that's worth anything. Attack speed, cost speed, reduced maximum mana. No. And power for engine two. Nope. And that's the first map run done. Let's put away the currency that I did pick up. This is all just probably going to get sold. And let's put the maps away. Uh, tier 4s, tier 5s, still tier 5s. Let's do that Kirak mission. Uh, Kirak mission. So what I'm looking here is for item quantity. So 104%, 130%, 75%. So we are definitely taking the 130%. The and there should be a tier 5 map. Ah, made the mistake again. That and that is the top part. Bit of Warhammer, dry scene map, that's another tier 5 map, that's good, that helped me. And then orbital scouring. That works nicely. It's a unique map. Was that a unique map? Yes, it was. 40% more monster life, 35% increased monster damage, and final boss drops high level items. I can work with that. And the percentage on it is 172% after quality. Not a bad map at all. Let's take that. Oh, six socket, but not a six link. Damn it. I'm sorely looking for a six link. Guess it's just not meant to be yet. All pyramid map, it's a tier four map. Island map, it's another tier 5 map, it's decent. Or we'll regret, that's decent. Six 
ist ja auch nichts. Ecke. I think I'm now just looping to a dead end. Let's go to a one from that box. And then let's head in the opposite direction. Quick little rogue exile dealt with. Good chance. Nothing special, nothing great, but I'll take it on the list. No six socket. Currency is currency. Always alteration. Alchemy. That looks like it just loops around. Another rogue exile. Mission complete. Rogue exiles are dead. Really? That's how I die? So I complete the freaking mission and then I end up dying. Evening, you should get the POE extension on Twitch. So people come here, can see your gear. I did think of that. It is actually an extension that I can actually enable. Um, give me a second. Hey, Maestro, how's it going? Um, I can actually do that. Uh, just give me a sec. Let me figure out where the hell that is. Um, this. Okay. Panels. It means I have to remove one of the existing panels that I've got. Can remove this for now. You just crafted a fire one for somebody. Ooh, link it. Let me see. Drop the six link. I'll drop that for now. Just to have a look at this assassin bow. Global crush mark marker. Uh, increased physical damage as 25 to 55 damage. Attack speed. Close range. Bow now very close range. That doesn't seem horrible. Keep that. Should turn back. Oh, this person's still alive. I thought you were dead already. Uh, any six links? No six sockets. Okay. Back to town. Alright, now that we are back here, let's quickly see if I can't get that extension added. Uh, I just sold tattoos for 8 div on standard. You want something? First of all, what are tattoos? And second of all, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. Channel, can I edit a bit? Nope, I can only add so many panels. 
So, what is something I can remove? Remove that for now because. Nobody has donated at all. I don't think anybody is going to donate anytime soon. Uh, let's activate this. It is one. Done. This page. Add your link to your Twitch account, okay. That is done. Let's see if this worked. Actually, it works. So Manager of the one. Okay. It says it is active. There we go. You should now be able to see the link. Double check it for me, make sure it's actually there. And let me just have a look at this thing that you... Yep, I'm looking at it now. Awesome. Uh, tattoo of the warrior. Eight increased armor. Okay. Put this away, put this away, put that away. More legendary, oh, more unique legendaries. Why do I keep thinking legendaries? You can sell that, put that away. Okay. Yes. So I don't want to sell. Go well. I just want to check something. That. Yeah, I've got no idea what the extension actually looks like because it's obviously something that I can't view on my side. Because if I just click on it, it does nothing. Or does this just bring up the? I've actually got no idea what that armory extension looks like. I, be I hope it's not like giving out like all my personal information and shit. <laughs> Good. Only your character's name, level, class, and get. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, they are legacy, so they sell for a lot. Yep, I'm looking at it now. Only your character's name, level, class, and get. Awesome. Yeah, I did see that. That extension, and I was like, ooh, that might actually be a good idea. But obviously, one of the shit things is, I can't actually preview it myself to see what it looks like for a viewer, unless I view it as a, like a different account. Stupid. Uh, let's put away the currency that I did get. And then let's run the 
the unique map. With so many divination cards that just are like almost done, half done, haven't even started. <laughs> so Maestro, if you actually go to last night's stream, because I think you left by the time I went on my little rant. Um, if you actually go have a look at last night's stream close towards the end of it, I went on like a solid like 10 minute rant just trying to figure out like just a nice little conversation with myself as to how the hell a person goes ahead to actually grow their <laughs> community. It was like this deep reflective thought process that I had out loud. <laughs> Uh, what else do we want to throw in there? Not sure. Why don't you pick one? What are we doing? So along with the um, the uh, unique map, what are we doing? Are we doing I know, incursion, sulfate, or syndicate? You like June. June is syndicate, right? Yeah. Headless missions cannot be completed in unique map. Ah, okay. Well, fuck it. To unlock recipes, yeah. Ah, oh, this lovely map. Ah, oh, this is the map where I don't actually need to worry about mobbing too much. I can just switch over to multi-strike because it's basically only a boss fight. That's any indication as to how tonight's gonna go. It's gonna be a long ass stream. Not paying attention, getting caught in a small corridor, not moving enough. It is my own stupidity. See? See how much better that was when you actually just stay the freak away and let my minions do their job. Six links, no six links, but I did get an assassin. Let's. Okay, there's more mobbing than what I thought there was going to be. Another unique drop. Come on, be a mage blood, be a mage blood. No, of course it's not a mage blood. There's like zero chance of me getting a mage blood. Oops, I'll take those. Uniques, anybody? Helmet, blade. Yeah, why not? Take all of them, sell all of them. Might be worth something to somebody. Okay, on to the next side. Take the alchemy orb. Get back down this way. Be dealt with. Got the base. Got the base for what? What did you do? Are you doing dodgy, sneaky things again? The last time I trusted you with something, you gave me a map from the previous league that the moment I completed it, it finished off my entire map. <laughs> <laughs> complete of maps for me so <laughs> I need to know what you're planning on doing next
pays for a one craft. Is this the one craft that you made for somebody else early on, or is this a new one craft you started planning on making? Why not? Let's just grab another unique. The goal for today's episode, just all the uniques I can get. A minion one. Ah. Not nearly skilled enough to join Zizarans. Hardcore solo self found. Cool. I am no, piece of uh, no six links. No sixes. Yeah, comes a nice little run. Yes. I don't think any of these uniques were actually decent, are they? All damage by increased attack speed, global critical multiplier, increased light radius. Nearby enemies are blinded. Hands with increased critical strike chance against blinded enemies. That's actually not bad. From what I'm personally gathering. As if one damage attack check. Yep. Demon Raging Spirit deal 208% increased damage. Yes, please. Reduce maximum number of summon raging spirits. Yes, they less. They always ignite. Fire only splash and damage to surrounding targets. Come on, that has to be good. Okay, it's stats or shit, like it's energy shield level 70, but 208% increased damage on my summon raging spirits. Of course, I'm going to have nowhere to put that stuff. I mean, it's a good thing. Just dump it in here for now. Are you able to change the amount of um, sockets and links on a unique item? Or is that like set in stone? Oh, I can. Okay. And this is a... I can get three out of this. And I can link all three of them. Then I've got a red blue like that one. I mean, this could potentially be very good for my build, right? I mean, just based on the fact that it's a 208% increase in some Raging Spirit's damage. They always ignite... Through that only do um, fire splash. Let's see, this is a massively noticeable increase to strength, block recovery, light radius. Maximum life. I'm going to test it. See if it works. Got the slots to be able to put those into it. I won't get rid of that helmet. That's for damn sure. J 
just going to be a basis to test on how well she actually runs. You cannot use this item, its stats will be ignored. Why? Oh, because my. Never mind, my strength is lacking. Can I not throw strength onto something that I have? Is there not maybe a strength node? Somewhere that I can take. You saw nothing. I'm just taking that so I can use this and test it. I can always <laughs> use a regret and get that point back. Careful of the few who bask in the blood of the many. So let's see how what that did to my defenses. Let's turn that and that back on. So 8,626. Yeah, let's test it. Let's grab a map. Let's go to five maps. Grab one of these. What are, what are you up to now? Increased burning damage, minion still damage. Dude. Okay, hold on. Uh, you better accept. I know it probably cost a lot more than that. If it didn't and it was a lot cheaper than that, then I at least owe you for stuff you've done in the past. Okay. Now that gets moved to there. That gets turned on. That gets taken off. And that gets placed there. The minions will 24% increase damage. One to level of all minion skill gems. So... Okay, that kind of loses its effect because... Summon Raging Spinner is down there. Menu still 83% increased damage. Can have up to 3 crafted modifiers. Adds 36 to fire damage to all spells. Minions have attack speed and cost speed. Oh, fuck me sideways. No, it's for all minion skill gems. Okay. Not socketed minion skill gems. Well, that's a plus. Global modifiers. Oh, okay. I see what you mean there. So, shouldn't that mean that my... Where is that stupid thing? Uh, yep, even this gets a plus one. The summon carrier golem. Question. Like, I know your ass is rich as fuck. It's <laughs> just based on the stuff that you have done over the last couple of days. But why me? <laughs> I haven't done anything special. Like, don't get me wrong. I appreciate it to the absolute most. Like, it really, really means a lot. I really do appreciate all the assistance you've given me. You have basically given my gear a glow up. By like 10,000%. A glow up that I probably would never have been able to do on my own. Not just you. Oh, well, fuck all. <laughs> okay, that's at least good to know. With all the gods dead, I suppose I should turn my We shall see how far you can uh, I still have many special support this other. Alright, so I think that having that... think that helmet brass spirit shield another unique I think putting this helmet on ain't doing the best for me doesn't seem to be clearing them as fast as I thought I thought the 208% increase in damage would be great apparently not
Well, either way. Not just me, but I do appreciate it. So thank you very much for everything. Oh, and I can only have five raging spreads out. Oh yeah, this this helmet is not doing me favors in any form or way. Yeah, that helmet was a complete failure. Guess I had to learn on my own, right? That one goes to there. That one goes to there. There. Take that off, sell that shit, turn all that shit back on, and let's go back inside. And I might actually be able to tell the difference. Huh. Down to Julius Delirium Orb. Layers of Delirium with the Trinket to water. Nice. I will tell you in a second what Lyra Bomb was. Uh, Julius Delirium Orb modifies a map item adding layers of Delirium with the Trinket Ward. Worth 10 to 15 C. Well, damn. I should actually just be giving this shit to you because you're actually like make use of the trading stuff like I have not gotten into trading and I don't think I'm going to be getting into trading anytime soon I think there's still too much of a gap for me to learn about the game before I can get into that because I don't know what trades for what I know there's outside tools that can help with the assistance of that but I don't know how to make best use of the vines or Okay, so or anything like that. Will I at some point learn? Yeah, definitely. But I think that's maybe after I've at least taken one or two classes past the act one or two builds past the act 
Because, I mean, right now, I have literally only taken this build with mostly your guidance. Fast act, damn. Up until that point, I have failed. Miserably. Dual cluster, all damage to socket. Damn it! I'm just gonna sell everything else. Lyrium orb. I don't have a socket for this. The amount of new things that I'm picking up that I've got no idea what they do is increasing by day. I did not mean to go there. Wait, that gets sold, that gets sold. Uh, these two do not get sold. Just put there for now. Another one of these rings. No idea what to do with them, but they're there. Cluster, and then I can just keep hold on. Yes, go well. Um. Like this, identify it. Most deals with physical damage as fire. Okay. No, you did not. You gave me a small de demonstration when you were zipping around my screen and when you started making arrows fuck off in every single direction, but nope. You never actually linked your build or showed me what your build looks like. Yeah, that one. And now you've got floating shields around you. <laughs> Let's have a look what this thing looks like. Topaz rank 28% to lightning resistance. Thirty-six dexterity, 32% increase projectile damage, projectile return to you, projectiles are fired in random directions. That's a pretty badass ring. Is that what causes your... Um, are those arrows that you're um, shooting? Or are those... Um, yeah, that. Or is that a staff that you're using? Ethereal knives. Ah, okay. When I kill things, I also get green orbs shooting out. So basically what you're saying is you don't want them dead. You want them dead dead. I'm guessing you want to join me on a run or two. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is with the speed of your build, I can sit right here and you're basically going to do everything. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Everything that used to exist on this side of the map is dead. I died. So these people I'm guessing we are just traitor. executing. Absolutely brutal. Traitors. You think I didn't expect not even the don't make us regret this, new twin. Oh wait, I'm just picking up everything. Is this like a shared loot system thing or is it just like first come first serve? Salah. That's the only one. No, gold means I've got it. Your map, your loot. Oh. Gold means I've got it. Blue means I don't have it. Or is it the other way around? You should push that new ball unique enemies nearby. Gold means you have. Okay, cool. Attack this weapon, penetrate. Uh, attack the weapon, penetrate. Elemental, physical damage. Let's do that. What? Be careful. But I mean, you're killing everything before anything happens. So I don't know how you're feeling squishy. You surprise me, Hillis. I am no beast of burden. Hello. This is this. That wasn't that. That's that. That's that. Uh, gold means you have it. I have actually. <laughs> I've seen it drop down pretty quickly. <laughs> You've got like half of it. On my league character, I don't even have life. Damn. No item. Maximum life regenerates. Plus good the armor. I like that. That I'm gonna dump this so that I can pick up that. Hello. Plus, it's actually weapon penetrate. Fuck it. Just taking it so that I can. Yeah, I don't think you can complain about not having a life bar when everything else around you just disappears when you get anywhere close to it. That build that you're running at the moment is that considered an expensive build or is that considered a budget build or is that like don't even think about it you're never going to be this rich build
I got my first two tier six maps. Nice. Mid range, thirty to forty divides. The ring alone is like twenty divides. Now, I have how heavily dependent on those uniques that you are running is that build? Meaning, if you don't have that, are you still able to? build something somewhat decent or is it one of those like critical things that listen if you don't have this you are going to be useless entirely okay so if you don't have that you're pretty useless I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Just not yet. Hello. Uh, play all that for me, pretty please. I think I need this to that. Celerim. Light poacher. Like, is everything on you a unique? There's one of a socket. There's all 20 spirit bursts when you use a skill. There's one of a socket. There's two of sockets. Okay. So, effectively, very much out of my reach. <laughs> Simply because currency is not something that I focus on. Oh, those are your own uniques. Yeah, you see, that level of knowing what the hell you're looking for, I don't have I don't have that knowledge. And I think it's gonna be a while before I have that knowledge. Do you wanna do the um uh, hole or not? The forbidden chamber? Oh, it left the area. Right. In a gambling mood. So that's all, so, so, so. That's, that's good. Until next time. Those away. Finally, get to do my first tier six runs. Away as well. You miss your lead character. What was your lead character? What build did you run for that? You're feeling pretty done with this character already. Yeah. I think that's how I'm starting to feel with the uh, Summon Raging Spirit build that I've got. It's like, I enjoyed it. I'm super freaking happy that I was able to make it to the um, end game for the first time ever. It's just like... Mm. I would like something that is a little less path, but a little bit more involved. I don't want like a button heavy build. And then I'll speed it in this one. Uh, power siphon. I don't think I've ever seen a power siphon build. There was a build from a couple of leagues ago that I was a massive fan on, but I think it got a massive nerf in how effective it is. Oh. 
I'm probably gonna shatter the name of it, but it was something to do with whirlwind where you basically just spin around in a big circle and kill everything around you. I know I have the gem here somewhere, I just can't for the life of me remember what it was called. Chain, molten shell, glacial hammer, cyclone, there we go. Oh, I don't have it. No, I was convinced I had the jewel. But yeah, Cyclone was a, like a build that I, I liked the look of it. I liked the look of it. I liked how it felt. It, it looked pretty badass and that kind of stuff. It looked like it was a fun build, but I know that it got nerfed to shit. So if you have any suggestions for the next build... Cast on crit, yeah. So if you have a suggestion for a next build for me, I'm always open to listen. <laughs> you see i can't even answer that because i mean if you think about it this is the first time i have made it past act 10 so i don't have a basis to be able to tell you what i actually like and what i don't like i think at this point it's just a case of seeing what's out there i do have like one requirement like it mustn't be a ridiculously expensive build that is totally where a unique is basically it's it, if it doesn't have this unique it's a broken build you, you're not going to be able to use it it has to be something that can have a decent workaround but while still being able to map and boss relatively decently lightning arrow or righteous fire i've heard of righteous fire before apparently it's pretty decent but righteous fire it's just a walking simulator <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i mean let's do this quickly let's bring this up um this is the bold that i am currently following The uh, summer is when got in league. This one. So the budget was obviously very low. It's pretty decent at mapping. Bossing kind of sucks. Defense is decent. And there's no real 100% requirement on uniques. I mean, I think the only unique in this entire set is the chest piece, and that's the lightning coil. And I mean, I'm not even using that. Oh, and the um, abyssal socket. And basically, the leveling guide and the gems and the path that I need to follow is three year. You prefer having required uniques because they're easy to find. Well, you see, I did not know that. I did not know that the later you get into the game like we are now, uniques basically drop every 10 seconds. I thought uniques were the kind of thing that drop like now and then. So, I was always looking for something relatively cheap. And I mean, if you were doing something like what I've been doing over here, where I've just been hoarding uniques, there's a good possibility that you would probably have the unique that you need by the time you get to that point. Rares are usually crafted and more expensive. Unless you know how to craft them yourself. See, that's an element that I haven't touched. Like, I know you can come over here with a crafting bench and that you can craft modifiers to your weapons. 
where the hell do you craft actual gear? Is that Einar? Uh, the, the beast, the bestiary. Beast, beast. I think it's a bestiary? Uh, Einar. The beast master. Yeah, the, the bestiary. At the menagerie. Not. Okay. Then where the fuck do you actually craft stuff? In, in your stash. Stash? <laughs> Luck. Stash, stash. The way I made you want is first I spammed perfect fossils to get the quality above 20. Is fossil something that a person can still get or is that from the previous leak? Anyone can get it. Okay. And then I craft three mods and the other two. You see, that is an entire world that I have not even explored yet. That's a quite simple craft. That's just it. Might be simple as dog shit for you, but for someone like me, it's rocket science. <laughs> it's like, where do I even start? What do I do? How do I get a base? How do I... Where does a person even start crafting? Like, I mean, this blew my mind. Then this just added... To the extra mind blowingness on top of the additional screen. Then you couldn't hold to craft an enchanted max squad to give more elemental damage instead of more physical for it. But I didn't have the juice for <laughs> At this point you're talking French, brother. <laughs> At this point you could be speaking a language from a different country and I would no idea what you're saying. Are these, are these elements all things that were introduced in previous leagues or in previous iterations of the game? Like, how does somebody, like, take me for example now, not the newest to the game, but new to this aspect of the game. How does someone like myself go from where I am now, or sorry, let's say at the beginning of a league or beginning of a new um, season or whatever, beginning of a new league, or just beginning of a standard run. How do I go from firstly understanding this, then to making it through the acts, understanding what this page does with the defenses, the miscellaneous, the charges, the offenses, and focusing your um, defenses over your life, when your life needs to be where, and then when you get past the act tens by some miracle without following a build guide, then getting into the point where we start looking at the different elements that start introducing this and this like because this game don't have no tutorial like that i'm well aware of without going the obvious route and watching five billion different youtube videos to try and understand the essence of what crafting is Delve crafting, assets crafting, and hot crafting are all from different leagues. I 
think one day when you're comfortable and if you're comfortable and when you've got time, I just need to get you into a voice chat. <laughs> I just need to get you into a voice chat and you just need to walk this shit down for me. Help my puny brain wrap my mind around how the hell all of this works. Because, I mean, right now I am running rinse and repeat. I am basically running through the maps, hoping that I get more um, of these um, passive points to be able to put into this tree so that I can focus on Legion and Delirium. Like, that's what my brain is telling me is the obvious next step. But should I systematically start introducing delves? Should I introduce start introducing... Like something else and then the follow-up question of that is like how do i if i'm focusing solely on these elements the delirium and the legion elements of the game how do i ensure moving forward that all of the maps that i run have got these elements in it is that something i can do or is it more so just a case of increasing the potential of having that Trade league, you buy what you need. True. But I suppose that's where the saying of give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever. Where that saying comes into place, like it'll be nice to understand the different elements of the game. To a certain degree. Like I, I'm not expecting to be a professional in any formal way. Would just like to understand that if I take the next build, I've got a clear goal of finish the axe, get into the maps, and work towards building a specific thing or a certain outcome. True. Would I be able to replicate the base of your exp based off of your explanation? Probably not. Even if I had the currency or the ability to trade. Trade know-how. I've got the ability to, but just knowledge. I've already got one in there. Who the fuck is the envoy? Good tidings, Nomad Holt, and he. Okay. Rejoice, Holt, and he. The maven's gone over its years with the maven. Okay. Do not disappoint her. Search up T6 maps to introduce Maven, you'll meet her in the boss room. Okay. I'm squishy. Ooh. Like, I can understand why new players that join this game get started and after a short period of time they give up yeah if i get there and i don't die again <laughs> i can understand why people do i mean it is a mountain to overcome of knowledge 
And yeah, I mean, with persistence and that kind of stuff, I mean, you'll definitely get it. You'll eventually get to a point where it all just clicks and makes sense. But I mean, up until that point, it's an uphill battle. It's an absolute fucking slog. See, there's another thing that you need to know. Fuck, it's a divine risk. Unique boss deals 10% increased damage. Unique boss has 10% increased attack on cost speed. Unique boss has 10% increased life. That was a curious thing. Okay. So the boss room is in that direction, I just want to check what's this way. Let's do it in a second, press Y now. Okay, I pressed Y. Next question, why? If you hover over one of the nodes, you'll see three bosses below. Oh, got all of them by the looks of it. Capture Blood Rub now. Capture Survey Crescent. Capture the Capital Cloud. Use the Divine Vessel with your map to capture said bosses. You gain those bonuses. Oh, capture. Pass the gear resistance against that. Keep a bind vessel with your map to capture said bosses. So, when I choose the map, would that be a... Like, I would put a scarab next to the map. Would I then put the divine next to the map? With a scarab, for example. Okay, cool. And then, these things. Why are they a different color? They've got an orange tint to their Good bases. Okay. Let's make the way to the arena. So these things that are good bases, are these the kind of things that I should be holding on to, or do I just sell them? Because I mean, Lion Pelt, Zodiac, I can't remember this one, yeah. So, unless you plan on crafting on them. I don't know how to craft, so I probably won't be doing that. Oh, that's it. Well, that nearly got me very good. Maybe it's because. 
Pad. Upgrade the map device. Crystal ore competition witnessed by the Maven. So basically just sell all of this. Try and pick up as much as I can. And which one want gauntlet? Just write in the thing you got. You just right click the thing you got to gain missions. Or a mission, it's just one for now. You mean there's Maven's Beacon? Use it in your hideout. Do I place it anyway? Well met. I'll sing of you. Ah. So is that one of these things that it added? The ambush one. You now press that thing in the middle. Okay. Why don't you miss there? So I put a map in and I click that and then I activate and then it should do something. Peter, that one. Three tier six map bosses while the Maven is present in order to receive her invitation. The Maven will witness and affect this map's boss encounter. Defeating the boss encounter will allow Maven to replicate the fight in her own realm. Here are the Hadron Mage Minotaur. You can now collect bosses from Maven. I've heard of this. And when you have the amount needed, you can get you can fight them again all at the same time. Okay, Maven progress one out of three. Now, would the divine vessel be something good to use in conjunction with all of this? Is it something I can even put in there? I'm doing a map where the boss is needed for one of those Pantheon thingies. Okay. But how would I know? If you can to see what map they belong to. Oh, okay. I was just about to ask. How will I know what map they belong to? Okay, so for now, that's just something that we hold on to. map crystal ore map we got map
Five stones. Say six socket. Keep doing that. I keep dashing straight into the middle of the pack. Like obviously, that is going to get me killed. I know I'm stupid, but god damn, there's a limit. that I missed. Hey, this is the one thing that I like a lot. Eternal Splinter, another time as Eternal Splinter. Now let's have a look at these. Area contains additional abyss, has three additional strong boxes, and area contains Ino. Very, very nice. How do you feel about the uh, harvest? Which one is harvest? What is this? Adds an incubated currency item, equivalent item, item drops after killing 3000 monsters. Wait, didn't I have this equipped on another piece of equipment already? Where is the sacred grove? That's the one where it basically looked like crop plots have been put down. Like eggs basically pop on the ground and then all the monsters come. If that's what I'm thinking of, then yeah, I actually like Harvest. Oh, this dude again. I hated this fight the first time I ever had to do it. Yeah, I actually like Harvest. I 
I'm doing a lot of progress on the making big bangs. Maybe I should focus on harvest a little bit as well. Let's see how good I'm now with this guy. Let's complete the spring like this and try to see. question is, where is the closest harvest? Oh, there's a harvest right here. Harvest crops in maps have 10% increments to obtain tier 3 plants. Anyways, head harvest used to turn both scarabs into legion scarabs, for example. Okay. The three things that I'm going to focus on is delirium, harvest, and uh, legion. Question. Is there a way that I can guarantee that in all of my map runs I get delirium or harvest or legion? Are there specific modifiers that I'm looking for to be able to do that? The doctor others for an increased chance. And there's scarabs. How do I block the others? Need something? That's all I want to sell. Go well. Atlas skill tree. This one. Are you talking about this stuff here at the side? What's the bottom? Wait, what now? Oh, the moon temple map. Atlas tree. What, isn't this the Atlas tree? Or are you talking about this one? What's the bottom? What's this? Strong boxes, essences, bestiary, trail. Not the Atlas itself. Oh, okay. There are 10 different uh, colored nodes in similar position, five on each side. These ones. Okay. Wow, so that's actually quite a, quite a route that I need to follow to get to those. Those ones. And Sacred Grove. Basically, I would want to keep sealed domain, uh, keep ominous silence, take a grove, and keep the sake and black thumb. So these two and that one, I would want to keep. The others, I would want to block out. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so the most that I want to keep is on this side, Legion and Sacred Grove. So I want to keep those two, so I need to get rid of those three. So I need to start working my way up this way. 
One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven to get those two out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So I need 16 levels just to block out the ones that I don't want. And then I can actually come to Harvest and Legion and Delirium and actually start putting stuff into there. Then it's Harvest over there as well. Okay, day. I have a plan moving forward. But the reality of that means I just have to keep running maps that I have not run yet. Is there a cap as to how many points I can earn per Atlas skill cycle? Is at the bottom. Am I seriously just not reading? 34 out of 132. 11 I get from... Maven invitations and six I get from Pinnacle Eldritch bosses. Everything else comes from Atlas objectives. Okay. Kill boss of rare version of this map. Kill boss of. At this point, I basically just to try and get onto. Kill boss of magic or higher version on this map. Courtyard map. Okay, so that's telling me what I basically need to do to complete these. So I need to complete tier 5 that are magic. Does it have to be magic for an example like this one? Um, does it have to be magic? Or um, can it be rare and it still count towards it? Meaning it has to be magic or better. Or is it very specific on the situation of magic? Okay, so it would be included in a higher version. Oh, for fuck's sake, I really need to start reading. Kill boss of magic or higher version of the map. I promise I'm smart. I promise I'm not a complete fucking idiot. Okay, so basically what that would mean is I need to come over here. I need to see everything. Okay, I've got no tier 5 left. So I've only got tier 4s. Is there anything I can do on the Atlas map for tier 4s? Sixes no tier two complete this map bonus don't have that tier four complete this map bonus don't have that tier four complete this map uh twilight temple do not have the twilight temple Okay, let's first get rid of all the currency that I've built up. Okay, I've got that just put let's go there. I just realized that we potentially have what I'm looking for right there. Just dump those in there. Everything I've got for the Let's go back to my maps. I've got tier 5 maps. It's is reading as completed already. I see. Siege. Tropical Island. One tier 6 map. Crystal Ore. Let's do that. The Maven currently holds recreation of the map bosses. That. Right down there. What are you doing now? Map tier 11. I'm gonna get absolutely schwacked in that tier 11 map. to Maven on this one. Okay. 
I really, well, mm, yeah, I realized that was on after the fact. Let's see how uh, how quickly I die. You are greater than a god, untouchable. I think just to be safe, I'm just gonna keep my distance. So slow, everything is so slow. No, stop chasing me. I'm sorry, <laughs> I won't do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Much closer, Jill. Could it be? Could it maybe be? There's a fire blink. Fuck, I was very, very excited. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Elemental resistances. No. Damn it. Barely touch you and you get absolutely fucked. Painted. Okay. Randomize the quality of a corrupted item. Oh, okay. Because why? Because like an idiot, I dashed into the dark danger again. Basically, just saying I died because those were the bosses. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Fuck. I thought my build was somewhat decent. <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> well, I'm just playing shit. It's probably but the latter of the two. You did it again. You fucking did it again. <laughs> I should have fucking knew it. I should have known that you were gonna pull something sneaky like that again. <laughs> oh. 
I give up with you. I really give up with you. <laughs> so, that thing that I was saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a thing anymore, apparently. You clear a red tier map. I'm guessing a red tier map is very difficult. It only took me three attempts. Four attempts. Three? Four? Three? One, two, die, third time. Four. Fourth time. On my fourth attempt. At this point, I don't know how to say thank you anymore. Because it feels like every episode I'm doing like one of three things. Asking you a metric fuck ton of questions or saying thank you to you. And I'm going to clip that again. I don't know if you saw that I actually posted it on my Twitch channel. The clip for the first time you did that. <laughs> I'm definitely clipping that again. Okay, so now we come here. Go up this way. And then I wanted to keep delirium. So that, 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 and that we block. And then that's, that, that's, that. We keep the bottom two, that's Sacred Grove and Legion. So that, that, and that we block. Before I click apply pots, I want to make sure that that is correct. Seeing that I want to focus on harvest, deliver, delirium, and Legion. I'm correct in blocking off those, right? Okay, so all of that has been blocked off and I've still got 21 points. And I can come to these lovely things and one, 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 one. One, 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 one. Why not? That's nine. And then go one there, one there, one there, one there. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's more of them down this way. So, yeah, there's a harvest over there. There's another delirium over there. Legion over there. And all of these things contain Legion encounters, Legion encounters. All of these things just push up your chances. That's pretty awesome. The harvest are on the right side. Okay, awesome. I do want to put two in over here to have a tier higher. Connected map box. If I did grab that as well. And then Legion and Harvest are on the right side. Yeah, I see Legion over there. I see a Harvest over there. I'm trying to find the shortest route to get me to more Harvests. Like those. So I can get to harvest over there pretty easy. That is what? One, two, three, and then I'm into it. And then I've got two. This is one, two, and then three onto that. And I can go into there. There's harvest over there as well. Or legion. Increased duration. Okay. So I think first I'm gonna make my way to this Legion cluster over here, and then we'll go up to harvest after the fact. So one, two, and then one, two, and then I've either got to choose which one I'm gonna go into. Quality of life force, and let's do that. You can save points by going to the block ones from the top instead from the bottom. Yeah, no luck I did there. Oh, you were talking about the original route. 
yeah, that would have been a lot cheaper than going one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it would have saved me one point either way. Why is saying come? What's happening? Oh my gosh. Um, sir? I think you're on fire. What now? You want an Atlas passive skill refund point. Okay. I'm guessing those work as the same as orbs of regret. Awesome. So let's say I take ten. That means over here. We should then just be able to say. Uh, refund passives that one that one that one that one and then that mm. correct that's basically what you want me to do is get rid of these bottom ones and just keep the link from the top there okay apply that refund and then get rid of that one so it's that one. Hello. Oh, that one's not actually connected. Okay, so again, so we got to one, two, three, long points, and then refund passives of that one, that one, that one, and that one. Apply refund. I've got five points left. Nice. So that actually means I can go one, two, one, and that is harvest noise to increase quality of life force to contain Ooh. going that way nice and then connect the other ones from the top as well to save one point connect the other ones from the top as well yeah I could it there yeah Okay. It did. It's fine. Awesome. God damn. I see you potentially changed bolts. You're on fire, good sir. Oh, I can use this thing that you gave me. Open portals to the Maven's Crucible by using this item on a personal map device. Okay, uh, let's first go to my stash. Let's just put that there because those are important. Put this away. That away. That away. Something else. I sell. Need something? Okay, so what does this damn tree of mine look like now? Ah, you see. Yeah. Damn. 71 out of 115 done. The only thing about my build is that I'm actually on fire. My skill hurts me as well. Like, is it an acceptable trade-off, or is it, like, the kind of build where you have to spam a healing flask, flask like, regularly? No, my skill hurts as well, uh, Built a lot of life regen to keep it up. I can imagine. I can imagine it's the kind of thing that you have to. And stay on top of. What is your life regeneration at the moment? 
think my life regen is at like yeah 478 per second well when i stand in your circle it's like 3250 per second 1401 per second Wait, why is mine jumping between 478 and 3,252? What do I have active that's doing that? Something over here. I don't actually know why, why mine randomly jumps to three. Well, now it's dropping from like 228. That's a good question. Yeah, when I stand in your circle, it gives me a small little buff, but it doesn't account for the other 3,000. Like it drops from 3,200 down to like 3,000. Or is that you? No idea what does that. I've got no idea either why I'm getting random increases in. Okay. Well, now that that's been done, let's take this tier 6 map. Really witness the map's boss encounter. Okay. Did I just do this maven invitation to see what happens? I feel like I'm probably gonna die. I must have time to gather my will. Yay. Uh, let's take the big one of your maps. Tell me to contain Legion counter. There we go. Oops. That is four refund points left. Let me guess. I can't go back into it and do it again. Nah. Well, that was fun. Okay. Where I can next. Let's go see how much more is included. Include a syndicate. I can't do that. Just do that.
just do that one, that one, one, almost a 60, damn it. And then... Armor. Increased area damage. Why? Why? Why can I not just get a freaking minion cluster? I do actually have a follow-up question for you, but I'm gonna wait until I finish this until I ask you the question. I'm probably gonna explain it like my ass. So I wanna make sure that I actually explain it correctly. Sell everything else. Okay, there. Just put away what's important first. As an income item to an item, item drops after killing 11,300 mod. I will take that and I'll put it on that one. I will take that and I'll put it on that one, and I'll take that and put it on that one. Drop me rewards when I kill shit. I'm happy with it. That way. Oh, that, oh, that actually does go there. So I'll move this over to this one. Bone ring can go there for now. That goes there, that goes there. Everything else gets sold. This can go there. That can go there. Go straight to that one. Everything else gets sold. Hero. I'll sing of you. Put this away quickly, and then I'll ask you the question that I need to ask. Okay, so I am quickly going to travel to the. Atlas, the Aspirations Plaza. So, I'm clearly at a high enough level to be able to do this. But where do I get this one thing that I need to be able to complete the Eternal Labyrinth at level 75? Like, how do I activate this last one? Okay, so in the map, so that's why it's a good idea to maybe explore more of the maps. Which then drops that required item. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because I think that is the last thing that I need to get off my boat. I'll just go to the boulder via. Um, yes. Let me just double check what it is. This one. Give her a final verdict. Your fate rests in her even hands. Okay. Yeah, because if I'm not mistaken, I just quickly open up this. Go to here. 
Yeah, the last thing I need is this. Uh, increase block recovery and then this one. If you get attacked recently, you and your allies have a 25% chance to block attack damage. If you cast a spell recently, you and your allies have a plus 25 chance to block spell damage. And obviously because I am spamming some raging support, I should have a better chance. So yeah, that's the last thing that I need to upgrade and then then the build is effectively done. Skill points wise. Okay, well at least now I know where to find that. That just means that when I run maps, I actually need to just keep a lookout and maybe explore the areas a bit more and not just run for the arena and head back. And this is Haughty Crafting. Has a red portal on the mini map. Okay, when you get one. Okay, awesome. So it's not like the normal Aspirant Charles that shows up as a little book. Out. Six. Let's do that. And yeah, hostage. Yeah, let's do that. There's a walking simulator, right? Just fire. Yeah, that. So, what? That circle that's around you. If enemies enter that circle, they just die. Fucking busy reading chat. That actually seems pretty cool. But let me guess, it's a very slow. Wounding. Does it still count if you dash all over the place? Fast bring to apply my curse. Yes. Now, what is your cooldown on your fast bring? Is it like almost instant? current state. Oh shit, okay. How much mana do you have? Eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that seems like it's quite a little. <laughs> you're 10 shy 
And let me guess, you're in a situation right now where it's n almost impossible to get those last remaining 10. Or is it actually something that's achievable, just it's going to be expensive to achieve it? Just to confirm, this Atlas skill tree, this is unique to this character, right? Like, if I build another character, I'm not going to have to worry about this skill tree. The skill tree will be refreshed and I'll have to do maps all over and that kind of stuff, correct? Or is it per league, the maps stay persistent? It's a count one, okay. So will that mean if I create another character and I come here, it will be exactly the same layout that I've got now? Or will it just give me the 71 points? 71 passive points that I then allocate, reallocate accordingly, or does it keep it exactly the way it is? Because I was having a look over here. See, there's a righteous fire build. Budget moderate. Mapping good. Passing good. Defense excellent. Yeah, this one would require me to use path of yeah, path of building. Because that doesn't have a leveling guide on this one. Go back to these bolts. I think I tried to follow this one previously. He would tried. I think very quickly into it, I was overwhelmed with what everything meant. I need to look for a league starter for a cheap build. Oh, of course, because obviously league starters, you don't have access to a shit ton of um, currency like you would in a standard. There's a lightning arrow. I think you mentioned this once before. The budget, difficulty low, budget is moderate. Defense is shit, mapping is excellent, passing is average. Poor bosser, not hardcore viable. High end is expensive. Let 
is the lightning arrow? I think you mentioned this. Wait, I wasn't I just in this? Yeah, I was just in this. Then I did. I think this is the one that I was following now. Yes, yeah, this is the one that I've been following. I've seen this one before. The detonate dead. I need advance if everything dies off screen before you. That that is true. And I really like that little tab over there. Budget is cheap. <laughs> Mapping, passing, defense, good, difficulty, moderate. What are we looking like when it comes to gens? So we start off with rolling magma, obviously. Eventually we get through to... Let me guess, holy flame totem. Yes, everything starts with holy flame totem. And then we guess, leap slam. Oh, herald of ash and herald of thunder. And then wave of conviction. Oh, it's flame dash for once. And then... We're still sticking on rolling magma. Does it say at what point we switch over? Uh, there we go. It's like level 28, we switch to cremation. There's some multiple projectiles. Conviction, flammability, desecrate. And looks like that's it. Focused on the top of the tree. Yeah, this thing moving from left, left to right all over the goddamn map. Okay. I'm detonate dead. Only when you obtain the following car speed on the scepter and amulet, level 17 on desecrate. Evolve detonate dead. Destroy map bosses and tanky range. Spectre outline in the next section. Hmm, that might be an option for next. I think it'd be between that or lightning arrow. How reliant is this? The only part that scares me about the lightning arrow is this. That high end is expensive. And that's where my concern is because... At what point is it considered high-end? At what point is the expense just not worth it? Specifically for someone like me. Because the bow not a unique. The chest piece. It looks like it's just the chest piece and the gloves that are unique. Shadow and dust. And then the dying sun. Gloves are incredibly cheap. Okay. So when this refers to mapping, excellent. Is that mapping all the way through to like tier 16, tier 15, whatever tier number it goes up to? Or is that up to a certain to a certain map where it falls off? Like what is considered high end? Basically, this thing will clear all the maps, no problem. The bosses will handle decently. Defense you don't have to worry about because everything's dying off screen. And difficulty is relatively low. Hmm. I might want to run this. I might want to try this build. High end is like comfortable T60. Okay, no, fair enough. I think what I'm potentially going to do is gonna uh, in Sanctum, okay. It was loads of fun. Okay, well, we'll bookmark this, and that is definitely something I'm gonna want to have a look at. Not as fun as tornado shot. But yeah, didn't you say that Tornado Shot is very reliant on that one 
um, ring. Yeah, because under leak starter. Now that's another bolt. Oh. Yeah, because they don't have tornado shot under leak starter. I'm guessing there's more than. Yeah, tornado shot is more of an end game. Tornado shot, did I? Yeah, it warns you very nicely in a bright red color budget. Expensive. I'm guessing this relies on some very expensive things. Right, no, it's just more expensive to make work. Got you. Okay. The amulet. How many sense? How many sides? Damn it, where did I go? Just quickly to go back to that. Old oh, guides, end game, tornado shot. Say so the amulet is what kills. Crystallized, omniscience. Plus 16 to all attributes, modifies the attribute instead applied to omniscience. Attribute requirements can be satisfied by 25% of omniscience, 1% to all elemental resistances per omniscience. And penetrate one elemental resistance per Omniscience. Omniscience. Hmm. Well, okay then. I think I officially have an idea for the next build that I want to run. So I think tonight's stream we're just going to finish off doing a couple more maps on this. And then potentially for the next stream, if the next stream is going to be PoE, then we start off a lightning arrow. Yeah. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? I have fun. have one if you want to give it a go what do you mean you have one good okay Will it have any kind of effect on the current pole that I've got? Will it do anything for me? Oh, you meant if I... Okay. You meant if I actually do the tornado shot bolt? Okay, yeah. If I go that way, yeah, I'll be more than happy to try it out. What does an Omniscience actually cost? Let's see if I can actually figure this out myself. When they refer to the currency over here, are they referring to... Because they're just saying current price in standard is 92.38. And then it says exalt next to it. Ten divines on standard, three divines on affliction. Oh, 
How many chaos orbs do you need for a divine orb again? Jolt is the old currency divine is the new. Okay. Uh, divine is 300 chaos you said it can cost about three divines so, uh, so that's what 900 and about what 3000 what's standard well fuck me sideways okay Standard about 219. 219. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to have a giggle? Do you want to laugh? Let's have a look at some of my previous characters that I've tried to do. It will probably be on standard. So this is one of <laughs> uh, So keep in mind this character is only level 30 at the moment. And I think what I was running at this point was Ark with Orb of Storms. And then, yeah, I basically just built what I thought was correct leading into... Herald of Thunder, the lightning up there, Heart of Thunder. Solid choice. Hey, fuck me, look at, look at that. And then I started breaking off to the side here, so that I could start getting into the elemental damages over here, as well as... Uh, yeah, things further down this way. Okay, it does persist. Nice. It's actually sad. Tomorrow. Now, that's just it. I don't know if I would want leveling gear or if I would want to actually try and figure it out as to how to best once again teach a man to fish and the only reason why i wouldn't do it on affliction is because i'm not the biggest fan of the affliction um league There's another one. This is a witch. What the hell was I doing with this one? Blazing Salvo, Wall Flame, Flame Totem, and Flame Dash. That was my only damage to this. What? I basically did the exact same thing, but I was going for the fire nodes. I really appreciate the charms. Charms? You're referring to the leveling gear. Yeah? 
Okay, let me clarify. I personally don't like it. But I also guess it's not fair to say that because I haven't really given it a proper go. I mean, besides the characters that I've deleted, if you have a look at all my existing characters, they are all in standard league. So I wouldn't really say I've given Affliction enough of a chance to see what it can actually do. I just, from what I did experience, didn't like it. But I suppose that's like saying you don't like something, but you've never actually tried it or experienced it to its full. Ah, so as I thought. It's just a waste of time. Ah, fair enough. Five. I've got a key recognition. Map tier 10. Ooh. 2518 I've received a report. So close, yet again. Maybe that's another thing you can explain to me. These rogue markers that I keep picking up. I know it's something to do with expedition, I think. Markers, these things. for heist is that another mechanic like delirium or legion or is that a completely separate aspect of the game like an alternative end game. Okay.
look what I found. Look what I found. It was a good idea to do one last map for the night. <laughs> Locked door. Masks and everything from the room. She's dead, fine, Carl. An emperor must bear two blinds. Nice. Hope in the left hand, surety in the right. Well, that actually helps a lot. Now I can go do the final as soon as it's over. Where is course map? I found another red map. Do 
und These are what I'm doing all day long. Are these harvests? Nice. Does it not become repetitive for you at all? Doing this over and over and over. So what drives you to sit through the monotony of doing that repetition over and over? Is it the currency that you make from selling the things that you gain in order to contribute towards another build? What is the oppressor? I don't know what I'm throwing out and what I'm not throwing out. I'm guessing I just threw something away that was really good. to suppress spell damage to an arm and invasion that wants to block Ooh. do you want it Hail. Uh, let's sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. So stop because I want to see what the hell this is. Instant recovery of 435. That's not worth it. Until next time. In my inventory for now. Oh wait, I've got no space for it, of course. I've got a whole bunch of other fucking uniques. I'm gonna take with me now. This thing and this goes. There. Okay, let's go and do the final ascendancy trial. The goddess is watching. Oh, I forgot how shit this was. Does anybody actually like the labyrinth? Good job, 
be stupid, but we are, can't I? There is a heavy metal. <laughs> I think it's stupid as old balls. Oh, but going back to my question that I wanted to ask you early on. So I asked you if it was monotonous, if it was repetitive, if it got boring. Your words were, of course. So, what keeps you here? Okay, apart from the fact that the game is absolutely fucking phenomenal, apart from the fact that every like three to six months they update the game with a new league, I'm talking about what keeps you seated through all of the monotonous grind. Like, are you constantly out there looking for a currency to be able to flex? Is it a thing of you want the currency to be able to build something more powerful for the next build? Or is it just because you've got a love for the game that makes the sitting through the grinding worth it? This part of the game for me is to see a new build come complete. Okay. So it's getting into that final, that final point, regardless of the cost. So you're willing to put in however much time is needed and required in order to get to the point where you can say you have finalized the book to its completion. Most of my currency goes to all the top of the friends. Oh, that's, I mean, that's solid. I mean, you've got the ability, you've got the skill, you've got the knowledge. I mean, I can 1,000, 1 billion percent guarantee that if it had not been for you, I, my build in no formal way is absolutely god tier, but... I, there's no way close, I would be anywhere close to where I am at this point. I mean, what a vague understanding of costs involved to build certain things, and I don't want to know what it's cost you just to build the stuff that you've built for me so far. Am I finding every single door that's wrong? Some would say I'm spoiling people by giving them free stuff and they'll never learn. <laughs> teach, a, <laughs> teach a man to fish. Like I can understand and respect that statement, but at the same time, if you want somebody to truly enjoy the game, they have to potentially see what the possibilities are, give them a reason to stick around. Uh, exactly give them a reason to stick around because i mean there's something that we discussed earlier on i can fully understand why so many people get frustrated with this game i've seen so many people open it up for the first time they beat helic on the beach and the very first thing they do is get told to allocate the skill point and they are met with this i mean i can understand the first time you see this skill tree let alone the atlas let alone the atlas skill tree let alone everything else in the game i can imagine the first time you see this you look at it and you go fuck no and then the people that do stick it through who aren't aware of things like builds and guides and that kind of stuff how many times did they have to fail before they got to the point where certain things started making sense I mean, I've put 400 hours into the game, once again, nowhere close to what anybody else has done, but that's 400 hours into a game, and this is the first time I have ever made it past Act 10. And I think that's why I've always had this love-hate relationship with the game. It's a case of, like, I want to see where it can go, but when I've got a 9 to 5 job, I don't have the time to sit for hours and grind and grind and grind and put in some of the 
how much that other people have got. I mean, hey, maybe in the future if streaming becomes a permanent thing for me, that'll be an option. But right now, I just don't have that luxury. I've got a wife that I need to keep happy. I've got a job that I need to maintain. I've got other responsibilities outside of this. So I can fully understand how somebody that comes across this for the first time and actually sees what is required, just says, fuck it, I'm not doing that. I mean, you can't exactly blame them for having that mentality each either. I guess the fact that we live in a world where instant gratification is all people want lately. Not many people have the time to sit and put in hours and hours and thousands of hours or hundreds of hours into a game. I mean, here's a perfect example. My wife just bought Tekken, um, Tekken 8, the new one that just came out. And she's no gamer. She's not an avid gamer in any form or way. But... She completed the, the game. Okay, yes, be it on easy. I mean, like I said, she's no gamer, but I mean, she completed it in about five hours. I mean, that's the level of instant gratification that people want. Sticking around in a game that's gonna take you. For fuck, too quickly, Sticking around in a game that's gonna take you. hundreds, thousands of hours? They're not gonna do that. Oh no, I have to find another one. That's what happens when you talk too much. <laughs> Fuck it. But hey, that's my two cents. Tech map bosses in tier 8 maps, 0 out of 4, Avon. Pursue the Eater of Worlds, influence in tier 9 maps. Well, the Atlas will be labyrinth. Yeah, kind of fucked that one. Who is the streamer doing? Sitting just shut off 3 hours, 5 minutes from 3 hours. I've had 16 individual views in this chat, in, in tonight's chat. Well, fuck me. I haven't been here concurrently, but hey. That's a win. And somebody just joined and left again. <laughs> Damn it. 
What is the secret? What is this? Uh, and another them followed. Nope. Still sitting on five followers. Still sitting on five followers. I think that's the rant that I went on like last time. Like, it's that secret. What's that one secret that gets just gets you across the line where it starts slowly trickling in? I know at certain point it's a percentage thing. For every hundred viewers, if one percent watches and one percent of that starts following, that number grows exponentially as you get to a hundred, to five hundred, to a thousand, to two thousand, to five thousand, to ten thousand, etc., etc. I'd like to say that consistency is key. But once again, I don't have enough experience to be able to, to put my finger on it and say, yep, that is it. One of the points that I made last night actually mentioned, like, it would be nice to sit down with a sheep. And I'm obviously not somebody like Asmund Gold or Shroud or one of those people that have got millions of followers. I'm talking about more like just somebody that's sitting at like a base of like 5,000, maybe 10,000 followers. Have a chat to them and actually like find out at what point or after how long did you because unfortunately face cams seem to work yeah i thought of that as well i did think of that as well i was hoping that face cam is not the one thing that is the deciding factor i'm hoping that i can grow without it but yeah reality is if you have a look at all the big streamers the successful streamers they've all got their faces Maybe that's the next thing I need to think about. I mean, just for this, just to get to where I was now, this is what I had to go do. So, I went and bought myself a second monitor, another 27-inch um, curve, so that I've got a second display, so that I can actually have my OBS, have my Twitch open, be able to see, do all the overlay, so that it's not on the main screen, obviously, uninterrupted. Then I went and bought myself a Blue Yeti X microphone to be able to have a relatively decent uh, microphone so that it's not the built-in one to my headset. So it looks like the next thing to do is potentially to go and buy a pretty decent webcam so that people can actually see my face. And I don't know if people want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's, it's that point of determining every single content creator whether you it's twitch or tiktok or youtube or whatever every single content creator must have a point in their careers that they noticed the change i always use the example of someone like jacksepticeye the youtuber he was doing pretty decent on his own but the moment he was associated with pewdiepie and he got the call out from pewdiepie his career skyrocketed and from there it's flourished and obviously he got that uh mentioned because he's damn good at what he does i mean i personally love his content but i mean every content creator that is successful has to be able to pinpoint at some where the point is that their success changed from being lost in the ground to being in the forefront And I actually thought about one of the things that you mentioned to me is like start raiding people. Granted, raiding people is one thing. Raiding a person with you and me, <laughs> two viewers, three viewers, four viewers. I know it's a baseline to start off. And I mean, any views and any follows is, is massive, especially early on when you're starting off. I don't know. I think I'm just going to continue with the basis of consistency is key. Keep putting in the work. Keep advertising. Got to start somewhere. Hey Amen. Got to start somewhere. I think it's one of the cases to just keep putting in the work. I'm going to continue advertising on Twitter. I'm going to continue uploading all my videos onto um, YouTube um, after they've after the live sessions. Because obviously they only stay on Twitch for seven days because I'm not a partner or an affiliate. So after seven days, they will automatically get removed off of Twitch. So I export them as is over to YouTube. So hopefully with me advertising on, Expo, on Twitter, X putting the videos up on youtube and having the live streams consistently three to four hours every single night hopefully that does start playing into it 
if I have to get a face cam, I have to get a face cam. It's now just a case of trial and error. See what works, see what doesn't work. I think before we call it night, let's run one more map. Uh, yeah, let's do a red map. A red tier map. Tier 11. That's out. That was a tier 5. And that. Fine. I don't believe that it works. Yeah, no, definitely. 100%. Like, I feel like the damage output is pretty decent. On the bossing, it kind of sucks, but that's just because I'm not switching out between the multi-strike and the splash damage. Um, but yeah, survivability is definitely a big thing. Rusted Divination Scarab. Murderous Igel and Searching Igel. What the fuck are those? Should have crafted you an armor piece instead of the one. <laughs> I'm looking out the map explore as much as I can, seeing that I fucked the fire sentence to trial and died. Mm, Head out. Version of the places that Amulet owns. Yeah, the Amulet is not great in any form or way. The mana regeneration is pointless. Off. Oh, I was I've survived with those off, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, the damage is not great, and that's simply because of the skill that I've got. So, mana regeneration is pretty fucking useless for me. Yeah, that's it. Call resisted, all it is. Spirit did before I fight this boss. The last thing I need is that spirit to go inside this boss. Right there. 
Damn, how long is this corridor? Anything to head back? Nothing important to drop. It's got to be arena. Goes out. Switch that. Head. mission from Ainaris. Thank you, Aino. I got another red tier map. Tier 12 this time. Oh yes, no, definitely. I can definitely tell the difference. The damage output is a lot more. Is a lot more than what I had previously. Like, I thought the one that I had previously was decent. But no. The previous one, I think that like 34 percent total with two modifiers active this does what 107 107 percent increased damage then obviously it's got the increased attack speed as well as the increased cost speed and they afflict increased burning damage so yeah no it's it's definitely a plus Guessing this doesn't go inside yet. Oh. That goes there. Goes there. I've got a tier 12 red map. Something. This gets me into that stack. should actually probably just end up selling everything that's inside here because i think this is shit that i picked up early on that i thought was important i think most of it is actually just trash like i've got six links here well six sockets over here that i can sell to make a pretty penny Yeah, there's six sockets right there. Four of them. What, that's four, eight, twelve, four, eight, twelve, sixteen? Hail. And just these alone are going to give me... Oh, my maths was very wrong. Yeah, just 28 for that alone. Until next time. Let's do the great selling. I thought you only got four of these per six socket. And let's do the great sale. Let's take everything and we just start selling it. Hail. I'm guessing I accidentally sold the one that you wanted to have a look at. We're talking about my current one.
that I did. Okay. to keep nothing you want to check a gambler. Almost done. In a gambling mood? Is there anything specific you want to check on this? Because it's another one with double white, with white sockets. Good luck. Okay, last three things. Hail! And then I'm probably gonna do something that's gonna irritate the absolute living shit out of I'll you. I'll sing of you. Because of my fascination with uniques. Now I got bigger stories for it. <laughs> Interested in fractured stuff. Ah, okay. Grab that, that mat. Okay. Now I've got an empty tab over there. This has just got a whole bunch of random shit in it that I can sell. That means I can sell those ones as well. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Ah, oh, that's a unique. I can go there. Brute force solution, cobalt jewel. I'm guessing there's no reason for me to hold on to all of these. I mean, these you can get relatively easily.
Now the quality gems in bulk. Now the quality gems in bulk. What do you mean by quality gems? That's good. I've got four. Well met. Like that. Oh, remove the rings. skills okay. Been an honor. So all the rest oh okay okay so everything else gets sold except for those ones so the quality i keep everything else i sell okay so quality goes there so those are the only four i keep everything else gets sold No, I don't, because I don't know exactly what build I want to do next, so if I need it, I'll find it. If not, I'll buy it. Because I mean, what, by like Act 3 or 4, you get the library, where you get access to just about everything up until that point, and then after that, you can always buy it more, so nothing necessary that I need right now. Go well. No... In a gambling. Until next time. Let's just set off these last few. out and that is my stash pretty much cleaned up pretty well as well divination cards random as gems sell that one random one yep. only four skill gems that i actually kept Empty page and then uniques. Yes. Good luck. Nothing. Yeah, how much they're worth? Yeah, that actually gave me quite a bit. Currency was. Actually gave me quite a bit.
it still breaks my brain that you told me that the currency that I've got is trash compared to what you need in order to do stuff. The amount of donations that you need, the amount of these fuckers that you need. It's insane. It really is insane. But I need to check something quickly because I think I had somebody jump in. Fourteen people in chat. And nobody followed. <laughs> the one cost me maybe eight divinations to craft. I paid you back one D. <laughs> I didn't want to accept it for nothing. I know it's not nearly close to what it cost, but I gave you one. Then having a look over here, ice locker, like 6,400 rogue markers, a whole bunch of these things, and I've got no fucking idea what this thing even does. Is this bitch as well? No idea what that did either. Crafting bench, pretty self-explanatory, but yeah. And then, I don't even want to start fucking with it. 20,000, add a new critical modifier and remove another random modifier from a non-influenced item. Oh, fuck me, okay. 10 out of 10 would craft again. <laughs> I'll guess. No, definitely. For this build, this is a pretty badass fucking one. I forgot that I've actually got tasks to complete on everything. 11,000 on the wand. 7,000 on the helmet. 3,600 on the shield. And that's it. I didn't put anything on anything else. Nah, okay, I've still got a couple of creatures to kill. However, I think that's going to be me for the evening. Yep, that's me. Okay, so, I'm going to do the normal outro. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for the live stream. Those of you that stuck around, Maestro, you're a legend, of course, as always, and thank you very much for the help. Again, for those watching this after the fact, Please come and join me on my next live stream. Go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go and follow me on Twitter for updates as to when I go live. If you don't get them off of Twitch directly, come and join the family. And those that are part of the family, spread the word. Let's try and help grow the community a little bit. Come and have fun. Come and sit. Come and advise me because clearly I'm clueless when it comes to this shit. But I hope everybody has a lovely day and or night further. Look after yourselves and keep safe.